Good day and welcome to Math for Kim, introduction to your calculator. So in this case, you've got a new calculator. Let's start looking at a couple of things to run around to make sure this guy works as we had hoped. So in this case, my calculator today is going to be the Microsoft Windows 7 calculator, so this guy over here. And the first thing I want to do is figure out how it handles numbers. So let's think about a sample equation. 2 plus 6 divided by 3. Now if we look at this one, we know when we do this equation, we need to do order of operations. That means the 6 divided by 3 gets done before the 2 plus. So in this case, if we're actually doing the uh, equation by hand, we would say 2 plus, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then that's going to then be equal to 4. So the correct answer to this equation is 4. However, if we were just to take it exactly as it's written, we would say 2 plus 6, well, that now equals 8. So 8 divided by 3, well, that is going to equal 2.6 repeating, you know, until you want to stop, so it's 2 and 2 thirds. So let's see how our calculator handles this. It's not looking at the whole equation necessarily. It doesn't know what you're thinking, so we need to figure out how to communicate with it. So I'm going to go over my calculator, and I'm going to enter 2 plus 6 divided by... Okay, I just saw an 8. 8 looks familiar. That means we might have a problem going on here. Uh, 3, and I'm going to hit equals. I get 2 and 2 thirds. That says it's doing exactly what I tell it when I tell it to do it. Uh, I can still use this. It's still perfectly usable, but I'm going to have to force the order of operations on it. So when I do 2 plus 6 divided by 3, I'm going to actually have to do 6 divided by 3 plus 2. And that's going to give me the right answer. If it's a longer equation, I may actually have to get down the pencil and paper and write things down. That said, though, this particular calculator has two modes. So let me kick it into the other mode, and that's scientific. It actually has a few more that, personally, I don't use much. So now we're in scientific mode. We've got a lot more buttons going on over here. Uh, but let's see if it changed the way it handles the numbers. In general, the more expensive your calculator, the more likely it's going to handle uh, the numbers with proper order of operations. So I'm going to go 2 plus 6 divide by 3 again. I'm going to hit enter. And hey, lo and behold, it's 4, so now it's doing order of operations. So that's good. There's one more thing I want to check out with this calculator. As quite often in science, we're going to use scientific notation, and the calculators can confuse scientific notation, especially if we don't enter it right. So let's try a number where we already know what's going to be. So I'm going to take 2 and I'm going to divide it by 100. Okay, not particularly interesting, it's 0 0.02. Uh, let's try using that 100 in scientific notation. The trick is, it's in the denominator, and that's usually where the problem occurs. So I'm going to take 2, I'm going to divide that by 1 times 10. I'm going to use this button to get me to the uh, powers, 2, and that equals 200. Uh, hold it. In this case, what we have done is we've taken 2 divided by 1, and then times the thing by 100. That's not what we wanted to do. So let's try this again. Let's try 2 divided by 1. And instead of going and times it by 10 or hitting the 10 to the X button, instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and this is the EXP button. In TI instruments, it's ten generally going to be a capital E, capital E. Same basic deal. This means we're going to be going into scientific or engineering notation. So I'm going to hit this button. Now I've got uh, one point, and then it's E. Uh, in this particular model, it's a lowercase e. Once again, other brands, it may be a capital E. Uh, so each brand is a little different exactly how they deal with this. And now I'm going to hit 2. This is going to be my exponent. It's going to be a positive 2. So I'm going to hit Enter, and lo and behold, I get 0.02. Yay! That's great. Okay, so now I've got a system where it's able to show me what I want to get. I'm getting the correct answer. Calculators are computers. They will answer the question that you gave them. If it was a stupid question, it will give you a stupid answer. So make sure you ask it a good question. And thank you.